Two Chairs No Waiting, episode number 158, Jack Dotson. Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the fine folks over at Weaver's Department Store. Drop by over at weaversdepartmentstore.com and pick up some great Mayberry items. Everything they've got there is great. I say it every week for the last 157 weeks. So drop by and, and shop over at Weaver's. Buy something. He you needs your business. Good guy over there, too. Weaversdepartmentstore.com. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners like you. Executive producer of Two Chairs No Waiting, number 158, is Sarah DeBar. All right. Hey, Sarah, thank you for supporting the show. And if you guys would like to support the show, too, you can make a donation. You go to the Two Chairs No Waiting.com website. And you'll see a donate button there where you can donate. And I've even got a new one there. So that if you put it there, it'll actually give you credit uh, right away that you've donated to the show and what you've donated. So thanks to everybody who has already donated and for all you guys uh, for just showing up. Because you don't have to donate to the show to be part of it. We love you. We love visiting with you here in Mayberry. And I'm so thankful to have you back in town with me again this evening. Now, what we're going to talk about this evening is Jack Dodson. Well, Jack Dodson rings a bell, I hope. He's best remembered as his role as Howard Sprague on The Andy Griffith Show. But he was more than that. He liked camping. He was a big fan of boxing, Spencer Tracy movies. You know, he attended uh, Carnegie Tech, which is now Carnegie Mellon University. That's how we know it. And, uh, and I'm going to go in first. Let's just go in uh, before we get started too much into this. We'll go ahead and read some information. Let's talk about Howard Sprague first because you guys all know who Howard is. And then we'll go back in and talk about Jack Dodson uh, since it's the same person, Jack Dodson and Howard Sprague. Howard Sprague, as some of you will remember, was a, a little bit of a mama's boy. And uh, he, he was kind of shy, mild-mannered. He's intelligent, you know, pretty smart fella. He was raised in Mayberry and went to school with Andy. You remember that? Howard Sprague did. He went, to, he went on to school at the Bradbury Business College in Mount Pilot. And he returned to Mayberry and worked as a county clerk. He uh, sang a, a, alongside Andy and Bert and Wally in the barbershop quartet. And uh, even his unconventional bowling style, you know, where he... One, two, three, four, throw. You know, that thing. <laughs> Measuring each step from the line, he was able to bowl a perfect game. Something which the odds are really against ever doing. And he got all, you know, stuck on that. But anyway, he had uh, he did that. His, against his mother's wishes, Howard became a member of the Lodge, the Regal Order of the Golden Door of Good Fellowship. You know that. And there uh, he enjoyed drinking root beer, and telling jokes and making people laugh. He even got a stint of telling jokes, if you'll remember, on the television show Colonel Tim's Talent Time. Would you ever go to Mayberry Days? That's the uh, that's the name of the the show that we do there in uh, Mayberry at Mayberry Days for the uh, talent show when we do our talent show there. So that's where Howard's. That's where the name of Colonel Tim's Talent Time came from at Mayberry Days. In his spare time, Howard liked to go fishing, which we, we know about that. He called, he called old Sam the uh, oldest living fish in Tucker's Lake. It was a silver carp. Uh, but, you know, he eventually threw it back because, you know, it was more enjoyment trying to catch it than it was actually have it, having the fish. He, invites, he, he writes a column for the Mayberry Gazette. And, uh, you know, he covers sports and all kinds of different things. He became a big brother. You'll remember that uh, as well. So, uh, anyway, there's a, there's a lot of information about Howard Sprague out there. And I uh, hope you guys will enjoy going and finding it. And uh, I want to remind you, too, you know, Jack Dodson, he not only played Howard Sprague, but he was on a lot of other things. One thing in particular that always comes to my mind is he was on Happy Days. There was a, a couple of episodes where he was on Happy Days, at least one. And uh, the one I'm thinking of in particular is from the third season of Happy Days. It was called A Sight for Sore Eyes. And uh, there was one, he was given uh, Fonzie eye exams. I don't know if you remember that. Fonzie ended up getting glasses and all that kind of stuff. It was, uh, 
if some some of you folks may not even remember happy days i'm getting i'm getting so old i'm not sure how many people <laughs> how many people are listening to this that remember that but hopefully you do and you remember the fonts because wow how cool is the fonts but howard was one of the model citizens there in mayberry he did so many things just to make sure that the uh, citizens of mayberry were well taken care of over over time uh you know he was howard's uh floyd i mean he turned out to be Floyd's landlord. I think you'll remember that. And, and Floyd got mad at him for charging too much. And he dated uh, Millie Swanson as well the uh, from over at the bakery. He dated her for a while. Anyway, and he moved off to St. Benedict's Island in the Caribbean. He did that for a little bit and then came back to Mayberry. All right, so that's, uh, that's, that's a little bit about jack dodson so let's uh let's go in and talk uh, a little more about him um, instead of howard sprague that was howard sprague we we're talking about well jack dodson he was born in uh 1931 up in pittsburgh and of course like i said at the beginning he was remembered by everybody as howard sprague but you know there's a whole lot of other things he did uh over the course of his career uh he and he was uh he, he'd gone off to, uh, this was something I thought was interesting. I was researching into this. He went to Carnegie Tech, which is now Carnegie Mellon University, and he majored in drama, and he graduated in 1953. Uh, after that, uh, he went on to serve 18 months in the Army. And after he was discharged from the Army, he moved back to New York and found uh, work in off-Broadway plays and worked as a night clerk at a hotel. In 1959, Jack married uh, television actress Mary Weaver, whom he met at Carnegie Tech when he was in college. Uh, They were married 35 years at the time of his death in 1994. And while starring on the play uh, on the West Coast, Andy Griffith noticed Jack. So that's how he that's how he became known to Andy Griffith. He noticed it and he and he liked what he saw. So Jack's agent later contacted Andy in pursuit of a role on the Andy Griffith show. And at first, Andy had no recollection of meeting Jack, and his memory was refreshed as he later contacted Jack and offered him a guest spot on the Andy Griffith show as Ed Jenkins. You guys remember that, that he was Ed Jenkins on there. Well, uh, of course, that went on. Uh, From there, he, he did well as that role, I suppose. He was an insurance salesman in the episode called Lost and Found. And after that, Jack was cast as the role of Howard Sprague, Mayberry's county clerk. And he played the Howard Sprague for the last three seasons until the show was uh, ended. And then he continued the role in the spinoff, Mayberry RFD, until 1971. Uh, so, he was, uh, so he was Howard Sprague for, for many years there. So the last three seasons of Andy Griffith Show and all the way through RFD. He went on a short-lived series that was called All's Fair, and In the Beginning is another one he was in, and the the one I remember, which was, I tried to find some information about it, it wasn't actually a series, it was a guest spot. He did After the Return to Mayberry. They had a, there was a show that used to come on back in the, uh, the late 80s and into 1990 time, the very early 90s. It was called It's Gary Shandling's Show. And in that show, uh, Jack, uh, it, th- there was actually an episode of the Gary, it's Gary Shandling's show, called "The Day Howard Moved In," and he played Howard Sprague in that movie and moved in with Gary Shandling. It was a great episode. I can't seem to find it. I looked on YouTube and everywhere trying to find a copy of that episode because I just thought it would be really cool to be able to show you some pictures and stuff. All right, so that's a, that's a little bit of the history, and uh, I'm, there's a lot more we could talk about about Jack Dotson. But the reason I was focused on this this evening was uh, that in, back in September of 2006, I had gotten an email from a fellow named Scott Helmendaler, and he's from up in Blue Springs, uh, Missouri, it looks like. And he had, he had had some pictures and here's, let me just read the, let me just read this to you because this is uh, pretty cool. He had already contacted me and I'd emailed him back and, and uh, that I would be interested in seeing these photographs, but here's what he wrote me. Cause he said there was a story that went with these. So, uh, he, he said, Alan, here are the pictures of Jack Dodson. Now 
If you're watching the video, you're going to be able to see these pictures. But if you're not watching the videos, I'm going to have the pictures posted at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash two chairs. And you'll be able to see it. It'll be episode number 158. There'll be uh, an album there. So if you go to photos, when you go to that site, you'll be able to see the photos. Uh, you do not have to be a Facebook user to be able to do this. You'll be able to go there and I'll have a link directly from our show notes at two chairs, no waiting.com. Uh, so you can go say, let me, let me go back and read this. He said, Alan, here are the pictures of Jack Dotson. As I said in a previous email, Jack and my father, James Hel Helmendaler, were in the army together. I would say the photos date back to about 1956. And I don't, I don't know when Jack started his acting career, but dad said he was at least talking about it during his army days. The large photo, which I'm showing on the uh, video podcast, but uh, you can go and look at it. It's actually a photo, and I'll, I'll have it marked as the large photo, so you'll know which one I'm talking about, it is a picture of Jack and my dad. So there's, a, there's Jack Dotson in his Army uniform, and there's a fellow standing to his right, the left of the picture, which is his name is James Helmendaler. And so this is a photo of my dad and Jack Dotson. The photo was originally printed from a slide several years ago, and unfortunately it was printed backwards. If it was printed correctly, you could make out Dotson on the uniform more easily. So I copied the picture here uh, that you see here is normal. So what I'm going to do is go back and reverse that and zoom in and see if we can't get into that. And I'll post that on our Facebook site. Uh, I didn't do that before the show. Uh, let's see. He said, if, if it was printed correctly, you could make out dots and on the uniform. So we'll try to check that out. The photo of, of Jack with a man in the red suit. Let's see if I can find that. Here it is. There's a picture here of Jack with a man in a red suit and scruffy beard represents some of Jack's makeup work. And you can barely see the fellow he's talking about, but dad said it was Christmas when it came around. When Christmas came around, Jack had a makeup kit with him, which he used to create a Santa Claus. They used red food coloring to dye long underwear for the suit. So you can barely see the fella on the uh, left side of the picture here. But you can definitely, once he describes it to you, you'll see Santa Claus standing there. So Jack was the fella who made up, made up Santa Claus. He actually took his uh, kit and created Santa Claus from his kit and uh, so for the guys to enjoy a Christmas. Uh, Scott here goes on to say, I remember my dad telling a story about him and Dotson getting in an ambulance in their compound and turning on the lights and sirens so they could get clearance to go out and sightsee. Needless to say, neither one had the rights to the ambulance. I wish I remember more about this story, but it's been too long and now there's no one to ask anymore. Oh, that's great. So, uh, Hope you enjoy the photos and can use them on the website. And this was, of course, in 2006. I've enjoyed looking at the website and would love to see uh, you all perform sometime. The resemblances are incredible. Uh, be sure to show the pitch. Uh, be sure to show these pictures to the guy who plays Howard. Best wishes, Scott Helmendaler. So there's a third picture he had sent me where it's Jack and a whole bunch of Army guys. Jack's in his T-shirt and he's got his tongue sticking out. And I don't know, it looks like they're drinking i'm not sure what uh not even going to speculate one guy's got a coffee cup but it doesn't look like coffee in the other guy's hands it could be something else but anyway these photos are just a neat glimpse into looking back into jack dodson's life when he was in the army as i'd mentioned uh as i was going through it originally there he served in the army for about 18 months uh so that was just after the 1953 time period so if he's in there 18 months then it would have been somewhere around 53 54 maybe into 55 that uh when this happened i don't know when in, when he graduated in 1953 so it's somewhere in that time frame but it was near the 56 time frame that uh that scott was thinking that he believed it came from so folks this is uh i just think it's a neat glimpse to see some of the actors from the andy griffith show and things that they uh did or things that they were involved in before the show and uh, 
and I hope you're going to enjoy seeing these photos. I realize it's a audio podcast, so it's kind of hard for you to see the pictures. But if you watch the video podcast, if you go to two chairs no waiting dot com, uh, you will see the video there for episode number one fifty eight. It's this episode, and you'll be able to see the pictures there, or you can just click the link that will be there to take you directly to see these photos. So. Folks, I, I hope you enjoy that, and I want to thank Scott. It's Scott, let's see, that was 2006, September, and it is now 2011. He's probably forgot about sending me these since it's been, you know, five years. <laughs> but I have not forgotten. I keep things like this. So if you ever send me something and I've never used it, know that eventually I will. I will eventually get around to doing it because I love this stuff. I've had people send me photos of their squad cars and the like and i have not got them online but i will people uh, so if you send them to me eventually i will get them online uh, but there's only so many hours every day <laughs> that i can spend so folks that's just a little bit about jack dodson and uh howard sprague is himself i should have noted that on happy days uh howard was playing ralph mouth's dad as an optop uh, optometrist is who he was playing. He was getting some glasses for Fonzie in that episode. Uh, you know, he, rep he reprised his mo role in, like uh, for the television movie, Return to Mayberry. We knew that. And then there was, uh, I do have an article as well that I'll post. It's a uh, article of, the, uh, of when he passed away. I've got that uh, as well. It says, Jack Dodson, who played the... Uh, the officious egghead Howard Sprague on the Andy Griffith Show and maybe RFD died at age 63. He died Friday, and this was on Tuesday the 20th is when this is published. He died of 1994. He died Friday at his suburban hospital after a year-long illness. Daughter Christina Dodson said Monday. He is a veteran of Broadway, film, and television. Is best known for his role as County Clerk, The Andy Griffith Show, and its offshoot series. A quasi-intellectual living in a rural town, Sprague often talked over his neighbors' heads just as often as he was tripped up by his own flawed logic. As we said, he was born in Pittsburgh, graduated from Carnegie Tech Drama Department, and he went on to Broadway productions of... Our Town, You Can't Take It With You, and Huey, where he was spotted by Andy Griffith. He began appearing on Andy Griffith in 1967, the year before the star left the show, and he continued on RFD until 1971, which I'm not sure that's exactly right, but that's close enough. He made 150 guest appearances on shows including The Fugitive, Hawaii Five-0, New Heart, Barney Miller, Cagney and Lacey, St. Elsewhere, Matlock, and L.A. Law. And he had a recurring roles of the father of Ralph Mouth on Happy Days and his radio station manager on a show called Homefront. So I'll post that as well to the uh, pictures. You'll be able to see that there. And hopefully you enjoy that a little bit, just this little glimpse back into the life and to just some of the career of Jack Dodson, our very own Howard Sprague in Mayberry. Folks, if you have any memories of that, if you've got pictures in your basement somewhere of Howard Sprague or <laughs> Jack Dodson and you, I'd love to see them. You can send them to me at floyd at imayberry.com. You can also, uh, you know, you can uh, call me and tell me the story if you'd like to at 888-684-8415. You can leave a note over on the Two Chairs No Waiting site at facebook if you go to facebook.com slash two chairs you can leave me a note there or finally you can just drop by two chairs no and leave information there as a comment we love to hear from you i love to hear from you folks who listen to the show and just hear your thoughts and things that you're involved in and things that you might know about the andy griffith show there may be a lot of things you know that i don't so hey tell us get that word out because fans of the show we all want to learn more so folks that's all i got for you this evening and it was great to have you hope you'll come back next week and two chairs no waiting and we'll see y'all then bye folks